everybody, and happy Monday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Monday, everybody. And uh, Mondays is the mechanics of songwriting. And usually we call this what makes a hit song a hit song. But tonight, we're changing the format a little bit just because, I'll tell you in a minute. We're calling this what makes the artist, what makes this artist stand out from the rest. And the reason being is, I discovered it, an artist tonight that is just so different. Now, there's other female-fronted rock bands and metal bands, but um, this band is so unique and so different that I just, instead of just playing a lyric video, I'm going to show you their music video. And this video doesn't even scratch the surface. There's so many videos of this band and they're just so, their artwork, their art, works of art in themselves, really they are. Um, and uh, this band just stands out over all the rest. I mean, I don't know how I never heard of these guys. So the name of the band is Spirit Box. Now, they have a female lead singer and they're heavy. They're really, really heavy. But they have these really great elements of these beautiful, pretty vocals and these layered harmonies where she sounds like an angel. She just sounds gorgeous. And then there's other times when she just goes into these guttural screams and it's just... It goes from heaven to hell in, in like seconds. And it's... And it's all beautiful. It's really beautiful. And it's uh, it's not just flexing to flex. You know what I mean? It's, it's just episodes of dynamics. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I was floored tonight when I heard this girl and this band. But this girl especially. Um, they're, okay, so the band is from Shreveport, Louisiana. They formed in 2007. They were called a different name before. They were called, I wrestled a bear once. All one word, I wrestled a bear once. And they formed in 2007, but they have gone through different versions of the band. Pretty much the same singer, but different members. And um, the, the remaining, or the final lineup that is now, the lineup, is lead singer um, Courtney LaPlante, L-A-P-L-A-N-T-E. Um, lead guitarist and programmer, because there's a lot of, you know, like real cool digital stuff in the songs. Um, his name is Stephen Bradley. So he must be the producer as well as the guitar player and the programmer. Um, Mike Montgomery is the drummer. And Mike Martin is the bass player. And there, you know, the, on the description, I went on Wikipedia to look them up more and see what's going on with them. And um, they're, they call themselves a metal core band. Um, they have moments of just like Slipknot-esque, um, just brutal, sounding music but then they can go into this gorgeous lush beauty that's just incredible i mean you guys got to hear this band and you're going to get to hear the band in a minute but i just wanted to um really stress it you know i was going through all these pop artists and don't get me wrong i love everybody that i look at and that we feature Every Monday and, you know, when we do the ghostwriting classes, you know, the courses that I pick, I really enjoy those. But, you know, it's really amazing that when you hear bands like this, Spirit Box, when you go back and listen to the pop, it's just so bland. It really is. It just, they, it all sounds like safe and just... I don't know. I can't really describe it, but it, and I'm, I'm not putting it down. It's just that it's so refreshing to hear 
<clears throat> a band doing their own thing and they don't care who likes it or who doesn't. They're just doing it because they like it. And now they have a fan base that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, you know, and that's what, that's what music is about. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's great to have commercial success and sell millions of records and all those things. I mean, all that's beautiful. But there's something to be said for just art for art's sake, you know. Um, you might never sell your art. And that's okay, as long as you're enjoying what you're doing and what you're creating. See, you know, um, you know, a lot of times we break songs down into structure when we because we take songs apart in this in this video in these classes, and you know, strip away track by track and see what's left, and you know, see how we, you know, does the song change once you take away all the layers? Well, of course it does, but if the song is a good song and the bare bones are still there, the skeleton is the like. That, that holds it all together. Everything else is the window dressing. But see, in a band like this, um, it's not just like a writer and a producer. They're a band and they all get in a room together and write together and play together. It's hours and hours of playing together in a room and sharing ideas. It's not like just all sharing MP3s on a laptop. Like I, I do my part, my guitar part, and then I send it to you and blah, blah, blah. No, these guys, like, it's like the old days. Like when I was in bands, we'd go to a garage or a warehouse and we would rehearse in there. It would be four guys looking at each other. The drummer would play, the bass player would play something cool, and I'd play something, and the keyboard player would play something, and pretty soon the singer would be hearing something, and we'd be organically creating it as a unit. You know, even though the, the lead singer would most of the time write the lyrics or whatever. Um, I wrote a lot of the lyrics of our songs and I was a guitar player, so, and even the melodies too. So, I mean, but, you know, a lot of the songs I'd start at home just on a tape recorder and then I'd show it to the band and then they'd jump on board and they would put their two cents in and pretty soon it's not the exact same song that I showed them on the cassette, you know, or the tape, you know, or the recording. It It, it, it morphs and blossoms into all of us, that it congeals to all of our personalities and creates what it creates. And um, this band definitely has that element. And I really love this band. So um, without further ado, I'm going to play you. This is Spirit Box with their video. And the video is art as well. It's beautiful. Uh, it's called Perennial. Here it is.
my God. I mean, that song just blows me away. Every time I hear it, I hear something new. I, I listen to it maybe five times already. And each time I hear something different in it. There's always some, something else pops up. Um... I, I hope you guys like that, this band. I mean, they're, to me, they're incredible. I mean, you know, um, you know, I was raised on, you know, heavy music, rock, metal. You know, I, I, I played that genre of music. I toured all over playing that kind of music. Um, so it speaks to me. Maybe it doesn't speak to you, but you've got to at least appreciate the beauty and the melody when it's melodic, even if you don't like the heavy part. I love all of it. I think you need it all to balance it. It's like the yin and the yang, the light and the dark, the heavy and the light, the whisper and the scream. You know, it's, I love that. I mean, it just, it just blows me away. And I hope you guys really like this. Um, all right, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. And uh, let me know what you think about these this artist when we get together on the Zoom class on Tuesday. All right, guys. I love you guys. I miss you. Stay safe and be well. And I will see you guys live tomorrow on Zoom. All right, guys. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe Seavey. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Peace.